Yo, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Octagon here, back here with another NBA 2K19 rebuild. We've done a lot of bad teams so far. The last one we did was my Detroit Pistons, so I guess they're not technically bad. But today, we will be rebuilding a pretty good team, even though they have not gotten off to a hot start in real life. And that is the Los Angeles Lakers. I have high expectations for this team. I think they will make at least the Western Conference Finals. And, yeah, let's look at this roster, starting with, of course, LeBron James, one of the greatest players in NBA history. He's not going anywhere. Brandon Ingram, I feel like you could get value for him, and he's not going to likely start. How good is he at shooting guard? He is an 80. Okay, that's actually not that bad. So, maybe we'll move him to shooting guard. He is a little bit sm uh, tall for shooting guard. And I'd like that perimeter defense to be better. Next up, we got Kyle Kuzma. I know he's like an 84, 85-ish at small forward. Uh, we obviously don't need a small forward at all, so maybe he could be a really good six-man. Uh, Lonzo Ball. I really like Lonzo Ball's game in real life. A B-3. Wow, that's a little bit generous. Uh, but I plan on holding on to Lonzo. JaVale McGee, probably going to trade him. Rondo's going to get traded. Josh Hardum, probably going to keep. Lance Stevenson, I guess trade. Michael Beasley, 420 Blaze it. I have to hold on to him. Uh, Kentavious Caldwell Pope, former Detroit Piston, probably gonna trade him. Vika Zubak, I don't really know. And then uh, we got a couple rookies on this team: Mo Wagner from Michigan, Savai Mikhailuk from Kansas, go Jayhawks. And then Isaac Bunga from Germany. So I'm probably gonna put some of them in the G League. And then these two: we need a power forward more than we need a small forward. So Brendan Ingram is headed to the Chicago Bulls for Larry Markkinen and a 2023 first round pick. Markkinen's under contract for an extra year. Which is good because we're not going to have to worry about paying him big money sooner. Whereas Brandon Ingram, I think it'll be two off seasons from now where he is a restricted free agent. I would love to keep Josh Hart on the team, but I think this is too good of a trade to pass up. Josh Hart and a 2021 lottery protected first round pick for the Sacramento Kings pick and Samanjue Onjujuanjue. Obviously, he's the GOAT. And then we're getting what should be a really high pick. And if it's not, I'm going to be sad. We've agreed to a deal with the New York Knicks. I think it's a pretty good one. Rajon Rondo, Lance Stevenson, Contavious Caldwell Pope, and three second round picks will get his Mitchell Robinson, Luke Cornett, Lance Thomas, and the Knicks first round pick this year. The Knicks always do terrible in simulation, so that should be a really good There pick. are two offers I'm considering. The first one is JaVel McGee and Michael Beasley, who I will make sure we win a championship with Michael Beasley on our roster. We can get Troy Brown, the 15th overall pick out of Oregon in this past draft, as well as a draft pick from the Wizards, or we can also trade Lance Thomas and get Raymond Felton and Steven Adams. I would trade Steven Adams if I were to get him, and I think I'm going to do... I feel like the other trade gives us more trade value, because Steven Adams is like two and a half stars. This adds up to three and a half stars, so I think I'm going to do this trade. I know it may not look like it makes the most sense, but... I think it's for the better. Here's a look at the rotation for season number one. Lonzo Ball, Savai Mikhailuk, he is the highest rating shooting guard. I did not put him in just because I'm a Kansas fan. He is the highest rated shooting guard. LeBron James, Kyle Kuzma, and Larry Markkinen off the bench. Ivica Zubak, Samajoe, Onjujuanjoe, and Mitchell Robinson. I know we don't have a point guard or any sort of guard coming off the bench. I'm not trying to win this year. Uh, I'm just trying to have the young players progress. Uh, we did put a few players in the G League. Isaac Bunga. Uh, Troy Brown and Mo Wagner. So hopefully that helps us. At the end of the season, we go 41 and 41 and miss the playoffs, which I guess is a good thing, which means we get an extra lottery pick. The Kings and Knicks did not make the playoffs, so that's also good. And uh, my Pistons did, so I guess this season went pretty successful because I didn't really want to win. I figured we'd probably make the playoffs and it wasn't a big deal, but hey, we didn't, so that's probably a good thing. Come on, Pistons. We're winning this series. We're beating the dysfunctional Wizards. Come on, let's go. All right, Toronto, the cheesiest team in this game. We're we're not gonna get swept. We we, we got swept. We, we had the projected number one overall pick, and obviously the draft lottery decided to screw me, so we fell to pick four, and then my projected eight pick fell to ten. So that's nice. And uh, we made a move with the Charlotte Hornets. We traded Isaac Bonga, a future first, and Troy Brown for the third overall picks. So and now we have three, four, ten. And 13. With each pick, I just went best player available. That ended up being RJ Barrett, Nasir Little, Sekou Namboya, and Bobo. I just made a terrible trade with the Atlanta Hawks, but I need as much cap space as I can get. Two first-round picks, both in 2020, so I guess that's good, for Nasir Little and Lance Thomas. So, Nasir Little for two 
decently valued first round picks. I feel like that's not a great trade, but whatever. I forgot to show it in the free agency screen, but Clay Thompson did accept our contract offer. He is now on the list. Also, something interesting to note headed into the season is that Lonzo Ball made an all NBA team. Very zero numbers, by the way. He put up 12 and 12. Which is pretty darn good. Also, LeBron put up like 32 points a game. He had a very LeBron-like season. Here's a look at the rotation we will be going with for season number two. Lonzo, Clay, LeBron, Lowry, and Bull Bull off the bench. It is not a big bench. I don't know why Mitchell Robinson's up there. But um, our bench will consist of Kyle Kuzma, RJ Barrett, and Sekou Dumboya. We once again do not have a point guard coming off our bench. But, oh well. Uh, we have Greg Popovich as our head coach now, so I think he can figure out something. At the end of the season, we go 56-26, and 26, which gets us the two-seed in the Western Conference. R.J. Barrett also did win six man of the year, so that's cool. Pistons are the seventh seed again. Hopefully we spank those Sixers, but... So in the first round, we are going to be taking on the Utah Jazz. Hopefully that's a win. Bring out the brooms. Okay, it's not a sweep. It's not a sweep. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Stop it. That was a close one. Rockets, I'm not too confident. I'm not expecting to win the series, but hopefully we do. We're up 2-zip. 3-zip. Are we going to sweep them? Are we going to do the same thing that we just did? No, we win in 5. Gentlemen sweep. Alright, now Golden State. Hopefully we win this, but I can't imagine. We win game 1. We win, or I mean, we lose game 1, but we win the next 2. Tied at 2. Come on. Come on. And... Darn it. All right. We lose in six. Okay. That, that was a successful season. I'm happy with that. We had four first-round picks this year. One of them was from that original Troy Brown trade. Two of them were from the Nasir Little trade. And then one of them was our own pick. Uh, the Wizards one was pick 13. The two Nasir Little picks were irrelevant, so that was a pretty bad trade. And then our pick was late in the first round, so all four of our picks were very unexciting. So we traded them, as well as a future first, and Samanjawe Onjijawanjawe to the Suns for the number one overall pick. Hopefully we pick. It turns good. out I did not trade our own first round pick, which is pick 28. So we ended up getting two picks for first one. We had a very wise decision and drafted James Wiseman. And then on the 28th we got the Big Mac, David McCormack. I only picked him because he goes to Kansas. So go Jayhawks. We need a backup point guard. So Mo Wagner and a 2025 first rounder are headed to the Grizzlies for Eric Bledsoe. We don't need Wagner and we do need Bledsoe. So. Now we finally have a backup. Here's a look at a rotation headed into this season. Lonzo, Clay, LeBron, Lowry, and James Wiseman off the bench. Kyle Kuzma, RJ Barrett, Eric Bledsoe. Barrett wants six man of the year. He's, he's getting more of Kuzma's minutes. All right, there we go. RJ Barrett, Kyle Kuzma, Eric Bledsoe, Siku Dumboya, and Bull Bull. I absolutely think this team is championship level. Hopefully we can do it. John Wall is now on the Bulls, according to this little score thing on the bottom. And we also finish as the one seed in the Western Conference and the best record in the NBA. First round, taking on the New Orleans Pelicans. We're already down one zip. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. We win games two, three, and four. And let's do it, gentlemen. Sweep, let's go. Taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. I think they almost blew a 3-1 lead, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to have to play for Rockets or Warriors. That's not going to be fun. Prefer to see the Rockets. And it doesn't look like it's going to be the Rockets. Swell. All right, Golden State. We lost to them last year, but we'll have home court, so that's good. We're gonna play either the Raptors or preferably the Sixers, because I guess the Raptors are better in sim. Come on, come on. Warriors blow a 3-1 lead. Let's go. The second time that the Warriors have blown a 3-1 lead to LeBron, and now LeBron gets to take on Kawhi and get revenge. Back when it was the Heat and the Spurs in the finals in 2014. And we win in five, LeBron. Finals MVP. Let's take a one last look at this team. LeBron James, Klay Thompson, Lonzo Ball, who is an A3. Larry Markinen, RJ Barrett, Kyle Kuzma, Eric Bledsoe, James Wiseman, Sekou Dumboya, Savai Mikhailuk, Bull Bull, Mitchell Robinson, Onyeka Onkongwu. And the Big Mac, David McCormack. I said I was going to get Michael Beasley. I lied. I don't know if he's on a team. I kind of wish I picked him up. Oh, well. Make sure to vote for the next team we rebuild in the comments. I'm out. Peace.